What's up guys? This is George Define, and on this channel, we do a little bit of backpack reviews, hunting and fishing, and men's everyday carry. Today, as you can see, it's pouring outside, so I wanted to do a video, because it's been a while since I did one, and I got some backpacks in, and I was like, man, I can't wait to review these things. But of course, it started raining. I was gonna do the review outside, and look. <laughs> We got a pouring storm, it's supposed to rain all day. So I was like, man, this is not gonna stop me. I'm gonna go ahead and do this review. I'm just gonna take it out to the garage and let you guys see the rain in my background. But let's get to the backpack. So today, guys, we got the Far Raven Greenland Top. This is the bag right here. And I know what you're saying, thinking, Far Raven, they make those backpacks, those square backpacks that all of the young ladies are wearing nowadays, but they also make some unisex backpacks and some, I think, some male design backpacks, some male design backpacks that are really cool. This is one of them that I really like. Um, I was just checking out the pictures online. This backpack looks super awesome. Then I said, kind of started second guessing myself. I was like, man, I don't know if they're gonna have the type of quality materials in this bag that I would wanna see and wanna wear every day. But once I got it in my hand, I was like, all right, yeah. Far Raven is the truth. They definitely have some quality materials in their bags. So this is one of them. So I wanna run through this backpack with you guys and show you what this bag is all about. So this Greenland top bag is definitely like a city trendy EDC style. And it's got like a mountaineering type of look. And it's, it is very cool looking. I got it in this like forest green color. Definitely got me like a mountaineering type of look to it. Very cool, man. I, I can't really complain at all about the bag itself. Ah, uh, there are like two minor gripes that I have about the bag. So we'll go through those, but overall, this is an awesome bag. So let's run down the specs on this bag. It's actually 1.5 pounds. So it's very light, very light bag. And it's 20 liters, so it fits in that perfect size for EDC. This bag is made out of a G1000 material. And I'm like, what the hell is G1000? So what this is, it's like almost like a wax canvas type of material. You know, and it's got that feel to it, that really rich feel to the material. I really like it. I mean, it's something I would definitely wear every day. So the G1000 material, because Far Raven puts a lot of emphasis on that material, it's 65% polyester and 35% cotton. So that's, that's really cool. Far Raven says this bag will take a 15 inch laptop and that's exactly what I put in it, is a 15 inch laptop and it fits it well. So the dimensions on the bag itself are 17 inches tall, it's 10 inches wide, and it's got six inches in depth if you really pack this bag out. So let's walk through the bag from the bottom to the top. So right here in the front of the bag, it's got an awesome look. I really like the look of this kind of buckle down, cinch strap type of look. I've had some issues with some other bags um, made by Topo Designs that I really didn't like. And this one, I, I, I'm, it's kind of the same functionality where you have to undo the, the top clips and then undo a cinch strap or drawstring to get into the bag. But I don't mind it as much on this bag because it does have some additional functionality, some additional pockets, which make the bag really cool. And the materials, the materials, the materials are so awesome. Kind of makes up so uh, for not being the best functionality in a backpack. So right here in the front, you do get those two buckles and they're metal and they actually say Far Raven on them and they're like these G hooks. So I definitely like to see those G hooks be a, a metal material because you know that they're gonna um, wear well over time or you, they're not gonna wear it all over time. So the, the uh, cord right here itself for the hooks is a very high quality material. You can feel it. You can feel the quality of that material. 
Then right here in the front, you get that Far Raven logo, which is in a leather, making this bag feel even a little bit more premium. It's definitely something that I would wear, you know, every day into the office. So let's go over to the side. You get two water bottle pockets on the side of this bag, very deep. You, you could definitely fit a 32 inch ounce now jean bottle. I usually carry a 27 ounce clean canteen um, and that fit in here with no problem. They do have like a, a button. If you're not using the water bottle pockets themselves, you kind of can buckle them down, button them down and it kind of gets out of your way. You have, the, you have those water bottle pockets on both sides. Again, this material feels so good. All right, so let's take it to the top of the bag. On the top of the bag, you get a little quick access pocket right here where I've kind of stuck in my keys. And it's not that big. It's only like maybe, what, my, my hand deep in there. So about four or five inches, but it's enough to stick your keys or your sunglasses. There's no fleece lining to protect your sunglasses, so you definitely would want to put them in a case, but I really like them. Again, and then the zipper itself on this bag, high quality. It's a YKK zipper, but it also has a, a Fjall Raven uh, little fox on it, making it even a little bit more, you know, design aesthetic, a little bit more cool. I definitely like that. And this top part uh, pocket has a storm flap over it so you know that your uh, stuff won't get wet. That's another thing with that G1000 material, so you can actually treat this with some wax after the fact and make it even more waterproof. The material itself is like a tight weave, so I know water would just bead up on this thing. This, let's flip this bag around to the back and check it out. So on the back, on the top right here, you have a grab handle. And they went a little bit further than what you would normally see in a backpack. They actually have a rounded um, fabric right here and it feels really good, it's kind of padded. Now let's talk about this back panel. And this is where Fjall Raven needs to improve just a little bit to make that next step up to a very premium type of quality backpack. It's these shoulder straps. This is like a rucking style backpack, even though it's for EDC, more hipster, um, city wear. The shoulder straps are thin, and then they're not padded that well. So I would have definitely liked to seen the, these shoulder straps beefed up a little bit so that they would be more comfortable during the day if you're rucking for a long time, or not rucking, just carrying this bag for a long time, and you got a lot of stuff in it for your everyday carry or whatever. These shoulder straps are kind of thin. I would say that they're only like maybe two and a half inches wide. So I would definitely like to see like a three inch, three and a half inch shoulder strap to distribute the weight of the bag better on your shoulders. Again, Fjall Raven, quality materials, metal buckles right here on the shoulder strap. And again, you come back with that great feeling webbing, uh, very fine and feels very flexible. Second improvement on this bag is this back panel right here. So let's move these shoulder straps out of the way and take a look at this back panel. So instead of a mesh or something other that would get some venting on this back panel, they put like a foam material right here and then it's, it's got like two strips running down the, the, running down the side of the bag. So this is supposed to make some airflow happen, but in reality, this, this, this sits up against your back and it's not very supported very well. This foam is very flexible. So I think that that, you know, wearing this just for a daily commute or something like that, where you're gonna be taking it off and putting it down, but actually wearing it for a long trek, maybe some issue, maybe some discomfort, just because it's not supported and created and designed in a way that would be uh, helpful over a long day wearing this bag. I would have definitely like to see some improvements for our Fjall Raven. It's almost like they paid attention to a lot of different things as far as the materials and this part of the design kind of fell apart. The back panel and the shoulder straps. On the side right here, it does say G1000 on the water bottle pockets, letting you know what type of materials are being used for this bag. All right, let's go into the inside. Let's get to the good stuff. 
So you undo these metal clips. Again, the weight of these metal clips feels really good. And then you get to the lid of this bag and it's got a little sign in there. It says Fjall Raven Greenland and it just gives you some history about the backpack itself and the company, which is pretty cool. So you got this uh, drawstring opening right here to get to the main section right there. And then you also have a zippered compartment right here in the front, it's kind of hidden where you can unzip, again, YKK zippers. And let's flip this thing around. You can kind of see it's a deep pocket. What I stuck in there was my electronic organizer right here. Great for flat things, so I stuck my maps and my checks. And I got this little CLC pouch right here. And this is where I throw in like gum or any type of smaller things. And that's pretty much it. I could stick a lot of stuff in this, in this pocket right here in the front. I just kind of limit it to those small, smaller items that I want to kind of quickly grab, but I could have stuck a whole bunch more. Loving these zippers, these YKK, you know, custom zippers by Fjall Raven definitely make the bag feel premium. So let's go into this main section. You can see that it's got this tan color and that's kind of the, the interior color for this bag. So you undo the uh, drawstring right here and then kind of pull it open and it's like very massive. So you can stick more than the 20 liters definitely in here and then cover it and you have a longer strap in the front so you could definitely extend out and, and put more than 20 liters. So if you really were pressed, maybe you were picked up something you didn't anticipate actually picking up and you wanted to stick it in this bag, it could work for you. So let's check out what I stuck in here. Massive, massive. This is like the majority of that 20 liters is right here. So what did I stick in here? I have my microfiber cloth. My umbrella, you definitely would need your umbrella for a day like today. Ah, uh, my headphones. Sony Huron 2s, guys. I'm telling you, if you get an opportunity, check them out. Costco got them for like 169. I was in the, there the other day. So, check these out. I'm telling you, better than Beats. Medical kit, little medical kit. I always keep that with me. What else? Sunglasses, won't be wearing my sunglasses today because it's so overcast. Now, for the laptop compartment, I was able to stick my 15 inch Dell XPS. This is the main laptop that I use to edit videos, do emails, do everything. I pretty much have this with me at all times. Nah, you know what, I'm lying to you. I don't carry this with me all times. Sometimes I need it, sometimes I don't. Most of the times it's sitting at home now, with this laptop compartment, it's definitely just a piece of fabric. If I could pull it out, it's just a thin piece of fabric. It's not padded at all, but it is suspended off of the bottom of the bag. So I appreciate that, Fjall Raven. I definitely would like a little bit more padding inside of the laptop compartment, because you want that to feel secure. This is not the best. You know, Dell XPS is not the best laptop out there, but still it's a couple of thousand dollars. You want this protected. You don't want to be taking a chance that this laptop can get damaged in any way. So I need my, my, my backpack to take care of my stuff. So it's kind of failing me in that aspect. So I would have liked to see a little bit better padding, VR Raven, when you do this bag again, or if you ever update the design. Let's stick this stuff back in here. Go with the laptop first. Kind of slide it into this pocket right here. Slide it in. Slides in. Sony here on twos, can't say enough about them. Uh, medical kit, umbrella that I need definitely today. Microfiber cloth, just the white stuff. I was about to say a bad word. Stuff down. And then cinch the whole thing up. Pull that drawstring, cover it. Now see, that's a lot of damn steps. It's a lot of damn steps to get 
in and out of this bag. This will only kind of like with this design bag, with this, you know, mountain closure, it's a lot of steps to get in and out of it. I like stuff where it's got zippers where you can just kind of zip and then you're at your stuff. When you have to do all those extra steps, it kind of turns me off from the bag, but for the quality of materials, I would I, I would take it. For the quality of materials, it's like a trade-off. You know, you gotta look at the, the negatives and the positives of each bag. So then now you have to come back with your G-hooks and G-hook it. G-hook it on both sides. Pull them down. I mean, this bag is pretty. This bag is pretty dope. I like the look of it, man. I, I think that I pulled it down a little bit too far, but I like the look of it. It's definitely got that mountaineering feel to it, and the material feels like butter. It does feel like butter in your hands. So, this is the Greenland top from Fjall Raven. It's not just for girls, guys. They got guy backpacks out there. Pretty dope. I really like it. Um, Couple of improvements, the shoulder straps, the back panel, and the laptop sleeve. If you could get those things updated by tomorrow, if y'all raving, I would appreciate it. Nah, but in your next iteration, definitely take a look at those things and see if you would want to improve them. Man, the stitching on this bag is pretty good too. I really like the stitching. I don't know guys, I think this is a winner. I, I think that those three gripes if I was just gonna wear this bag and I was gonna, I had a lot of backpacks and I was gonna kinda switch them up, this would be one of the ones I would wanna throw in my rotation, definitely. All right, guys, thanks for watching George Define. Y'all Raven, thanks a lot, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you love the video. I need some more subscribers, guys, help me out. Hit that subscribe button, it's like down here or something, or you know how people in the YouTube videos be like, it's down in the bottom. You know, hit that subscribe button, like it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I got more backpacks. And, oh, you see this boat behind me right here? We're gonna do a review on that, because that's my new toy. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your family and friends. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, so you never miss out on any of my adventures or reviews. See you next time. Peace.